Our keynote speaker for this morning is Professor Samir al Masri, speaking on the topic Digital Transformation and Digital Economy. Professor Samir al Masri is the Chief Executive Officer of Digitalization.cloud, Professor of Digital Technologies, Certified Blockchain Expert, Certified Digital Transformation Expert, and author of the online Certified Digital Business Leader course. Professor Samer holds a PhD in IT from National Polytechnic Institute of Grenoble, France, and has more than 25 years' experience in software development in ICT industry. He worked as an IT senior program manager and director for more than five years in France, three years in Japan, ten years in Australia, and eight years in Saudi Arabia four of which with GE eHealth and Oil and Gas Digital. Currently, he is a senior consultant in digital transformation for several international companies in the region. He is Prince 2 certified and has managed over 100 software development projects in different industries. Professor Samir is recognized as a well-known international keynote speaker and digital technologies expert. Recently, he has been selected by the Silicon Valley-based Engagement Alliance of Science and Technologies among the top 50 world experts in digital transformation, artificial intelligence, and blockchain to work on future global projects. He is an expert of big data analytics, digital health, artificial intelligence, blockchain data science, machine learning, cloud computing, IoT, and industrial internet of things. He has been providing training and consulting services to large organizations and helping them with digital transformation and AI enabled by the convergence of new emerging digital technologies. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause as we welcome <laughs> Professor Samuel. Thank you very much for the introduction. And Your Excellency, professors, doctors, students, attendees, thank you very much for inviting me and for this opportunity to talk about the most important topic in the 21st century, digital transformation and digital economy. If my voice is okay, everyone can hear me. I'll be very loud. I will get excited very soon. <laughs> so, what's going on around the world? What's happening in the 21st century? <coughs> what is digital transformation? Unfortunately, based on McKenzie report, 70% of the global companies around the world will fail with digital transformation initiative. Why? First, because people, they don't understand what digital transformation is about. Many people, they talk about digital transformation, but very few really understand what do we mean by digital transformation. Some people, they think it is just software, or electronic transformation, or paperless, or e-government. It is not. It is not. We will talk about it today. So what is the main purpose of digital transformation? What is it? Why do we need it? Simply because in the 21st century, we need to transform ourselves as individual and as company and organization and government to become part of what? Of digital economy. This is the purpose. Country like Saudi Arabia, the largest country in the world, by producing oil with one billion dollars a day revenue from Aramco, putting a strategy to transform Saudi economy by 2030 to digital economy. We will abandon the oil because data and digital economy much, much, much more important than the oil. Come 
company like Alibaba, which is just a platform with one software, made just a couple of days ago $40 billion revenue per day. Per day. One day, $40 billion revenue per day. Compared to Aramco, the largest oil company in the world, less than $1 billion a day. This is what we are talking about. Transforming the economy into digital economy. What is digital economy? What is digital transformation? This is what we are going to talk about. There is something very important for every single person around the world in economy, business, and technology to look at, called Gardner High Cycle for Emerging Technology. This has come up in July of the year by Gardner, which is International American Association. They come up with this one and tell the world what is happening in technology. What is a new technology, like smart tasks, 4D printing, 5G, blockchain, machine learning, IoT platform, virtual assistant, self-driving car, flying taxi, Tesla in 2020 will launch one million car for the market without steering wheels and pedal to compete with Uber. Uber created disruption in the taxi market. But if they stop this transformation, the transformation is not a project. It's a journey. It has a stop, but no end. If you stop like this, you will die immediately within a month this day. So you get your Tesla car, you come to the university or office in the morning, and yet you tell your car with your eye, with your, um, with your phone, my car, Roxy, I would like to call it Ro Roxy, like a cat. Roxy, please go to the parking. Or, Roxy, I will go back home at 3 p.m. I want you to go and work for me. Another guy would like to have a taxi. They call for a taxi. And it's like Uber. So your car, driverless car, leave your party and go and work as Uber. The whole day, until 3 p.m., Roxy comes to you. And it will make $30,000 revenue for you per year. This is where we're going to go. To buy strategy by 2030 to have 25% of public transport driverless. How driverless can work? Artificial intelligence, blockchain, internet of things. I'm very sorry to tell you there is no single university in the Middle East. No single university in the Middle East offer data analytics. Bachelor, which is the most important topic in the 21st century, not in the 10 years, in the 21st century. I recommend you uh, to work on this. To work on this and build this in the region. We're helping universities to build such a program. The most important thing. Okay? Analytics, it's the base of artificial intelligence. Without our analytics, we can't reach artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is the highest mature level of analytics. By the way, you can't jump to artificial intelligence without going by descriptive analytics, diagnostic analytics, predictive analytics, prescriptive analytics, and cognitive analytics. This is how we have to do We need data scientists. We need people knowledgeable in, in analytics. And the market is there. Unfortunately, our, our universities in the Middle East, let me, let me do self critique they are disconnected from the market, 
and disconnected from the industry. We have to build this connection with the industry and respond to the market. So, I suggest, the first suggestion for you, to change your conference cycle next year. <laughs> Why? Because the digitalization is not what we're talking about. We're talking about digitalization, not digitalization. What is the difference? I will tell you. Digitalization means digital change. Digital change means we introduce digital technology, by the way, what are digital technologies? Many people think digital technology is just a software. No! Digital technologies are a lot. And maybe we showed you the graph. But let me tell you briefly what the most important thing And we're going to talk about it later. Digital technology means analytics, which is part of data science. Artificial intelligence. Internet of Things, Big Data, Cloud Computing, and the last player is Blockchain. This is the core of digital technology. Normal software is now all about, I have a lot of data, how to get inside from this Big Data to make the right decision for my business.